Kicking off this section is The Telegraph, with another potential court date for former President Trump. That's right. Uh, Trump is to be indicted imminently over classified documents, according to uh, the legal team. Uh, the former president of the United States, uh, former president, and uh, the 2024 president, or hopeful is what they call him, uh, he's being ind indicted for taking, pers to taking uh, official or whatever it is, documents. 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 And this was, this was to do with the raid on Mar-a-Lago, where they seized, I think, over, two, over 300 uh, classified documents. Yeah, but then again, Hillary Clinton took tons of stuff, and so did, and she wasn't even the president at the time, and so did uh, Joe Biden. He had him in his back, he had him in his And garage. Bill Clinton took stuff. And built everybody takes stuff, but what this is... It's like stealing from work, you know, when you're like, if I take this mug yeah. home with me, it would be the same as... You know, Trump yeah. stealing some classified documents from the FBI. Are you FBI mentioning or... that I took, that I stole? You do. Stole I've, the... I've seen have you. you heard, have you heard that? Happened? He did actually steal a moment. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, I caught it on CCTV. So. <laughs> Nick, there is something about this. I mean, Trump says that he was able to declassify any documents he wants because he was a president. But the way he said it was a president can declassify even by thinking about Just it. Just by thinking about Just it. Just like that. Like that, and it's done. That's, I mean, it's funny. It's like I thought That's, of that one. It's a yeah. funny thing to say, but it's not very convincing, is it? Well, he says, no one has told me I'm being indicted, and I shouldn't be because I've done nothing wrong, block caps, but I have assumed for years that I'm a target of the weaponized DOJ and FBI. And, of course, bombastic, but he's absolutely right. I mean, the Biden administration is the end of America. See, it's not about Biden himself. They could have had any puppet. It's the administration which is prepared to use lawfare, is prepared to use the intelligence department against a, a, few, a candidate like Trump, and it's it's very very dangerous. And anyone's in favour of this, it's completely wrong. You don't think the Republicans would be prepared to use lawfare? Well, they haven't been until now to this level, and that sets a precedent. And now they might be. And the, the only way the Democrats can save themselves is if they bring in someone like RFK Jr., who I'm sure they're going to try and block yeah. from getting the nomination. But he needs to be the candidate, and he would be a great candidate. You see, I'm not partisan. I would vote for him or Trump. I'd look at their agenda or their you know platform. I could vote for DeSantis, Trump, or RFK Jr. But people like Biden, they're just the swamp, and this is very dangerous what they're doing. Okay, uh, Lewis, what about this idea that Trump says, you know, that he's a target of the weaponized DOJ and FBI? Um, even if that is not the case, yeah. it is certainly the case that this kind of uh, court action can be spun in that way by Trump and will be lapped up by his supporters. I mean, Nick is yeah. a very good example here. Well, isn't it? actually, it's the other way around. I think that the, uh, that the Biden administration and the Biden people are doing this deliberately to bring votes into Donald Trump. Yeah, because they want Trump to, to yeah. run, don't and they? And the more that they want him to run, they don't want DeSantis to run because he's so much higher quality. And so um, it's it's unbelievably cynical. And mm -hmm. I think Donald Trump is probably lapping this up What about as well. that, Nick? I think that's uh, too much credit. I think they're just attacking him with everything they've got. I don't think they're actually trying to make but, DeSantis... But you do, you do agree, though, that they, they would be terrified that if, if DeSantis were to run. I mean, that would be a terrifying no, prospect. I don't DeSantis know. versus Biden. I mean, come no, on. I don't agree. I think Trump is the more terrifying prospect because he he has the charisma. If you look at DeSantis, he had that very weak Twitter launch on, on Twitter spaces. He, he's not in the same league as Trump. I, I, I understand the 4D chess argument. They're terrified of DeSantis. I think they're equally terrified, if not more terrified, of Trump. But because because DeSantis wise, also is thought to be a more establishment type of guy. But Trump doesn't look like he can win against Biden, just according to the polls. And I know I'm, I recognize the yeah. polls. Well, not are the polls wrong. I've seen. The ones I've seen says he and DeSantis are both leading. And that, that wasn't even a, a right wing. Uh, I, think, I think Nick is wrong. I think DeSantis is like a, he's like a, re, he's like a mature candidate. That it is what they is what Biden was supposed to be when he ran against. Well, I think Trump. the point with DeSantis is he, he was able to swing Florida entirely to the Republican side yeah. from being very very low down, which would suggest that he's the kind of candidate who can yeah. swing those uh, those people in the middle who aren't sure which way to vote.